Plastic is everywhere. They are in almost every product we purchase. From our food packages, even to the water we drink. But why is the plastic in the sanitary pad I use for my period? Research shows that sanitary pad is made up of 90% plastic and this could cause irritation for girls. And the prolonged use of this could result into reproductive health challenges and cancer. A pack of sanitary pad is equivalent to four plastic bags. In producing this pad, mass amounts of water, energy and fuel are used. And this is exactly the reason sanitary pad is expensive. Close to 8 billion sanitary pads are dumped in our landfills every year. Imagine having all of these non-biodegradable sanitary pads sitting in our landfills and entering to our soil and oceans. At a NAPTA starts for this year, we took our time to study the social norms that limit women's opportunity, using the power of entrepreneurship to drive business and innovation, providing solutions to real-life challenges. For the past two years, we have consulted doctors, research experts, and environmentalists on our goal to develop Nigeria's first eco-friendly sanitary pad that is cost-effective, commercially viable, and contains zero plastic. After rigorous brainstorming using the waste hierarchy, reduce, reuse, and recycle, we fully understand that recycling this sanitary pad is practically impossible. So, we centered our solution on reduce and reuse. We dream of a Nigeria where our local production can meet some of our local needs with potentials to scale up, which is why we launched PayPal, a social enterprise producing disposable and reusable sanitary pad that are people, period, planet, and prosperity friendly. We carried out our market analysis and divided our customer segments into three. One, girls who can't purchase sanitary pad due to its high cost. Girls who can purchase sanitary pad and are excited to promote green menstruation. Girls who want a fun and easy method to track their period. Having over 53 millions of women and girls in their menstrual age, we designed a viable product that will generate profits, benefit our consumer pocket and also beneficial to our health. To know the best material for our product, series of research was carried out and we decided to use banana fiber which is 10% more absorbent than other alternatives and cost almost nothing to extract. Nigeria has about 500 hectares of banana farms that produce over 2.8 million metric tons of agricultural waste. After harvest, the stem are left on the farm to rot or are burned down. This is one of the reasons agriculture contributes about 20 to 25 percent to the global annual emission footprint. Since banana plant matures between 9 to 12 months, we realize we have a seamless supply of cheap and quality raw material for production. We employ two farm workers on a contract basis who extract fibers from banana stem using our own made innovative extractor. The fiber is made into a soft absorbent pulp which serves as the absorbent layer for our single use parts. We took samples to our school medical center where after a series of laboratory analysis, our product was confirmed to be safe, hygienic and commercially viable. Our single use sanitary pads are comfortable and hygienic. They cost 55% lesser than the conventional pads and this makes them more affordable for girls and women and also it helps them save more money. The Department of Geography and Environmental Studies in our school confirmed that our product is environmentally friendly and would degrade in only 4 months compared to the regular sanitary pad that takes about 500 to 800 years to degrade. We fully understand market penetration is not so easy, especially in a country like ours where we trust foreign products more than we trust the ones made locally. Having a number of competitors in the market already, but that didn't scare us because we had a greater competitive advantage. We offered more quality at quantity at even lower price. Currently, PayPal is at a pre-launch stage and will soon be available at retail and commercial stores near you. Embracing a new profit stream while ensuring our product is made available even to the low-income earning families. With hygiene as our core value, we design a reusable sanitary pad an alternative jointly proven by UNICEF and World Health Organization. Our sanitary pads are machine sealed and are made into a menstrual set containing three wing pads and three foldable absorbent layers. In order to make the washing and drying easy, the absorbent layer is made detachable just like an handkerchief that could be directly spread under the sun to kill the microorganisms. A pack of three reusable pads costs 500 naira and can be reused over 300 times. That's about a year of menstrual cycle. 
Apart from our products being pocket friendly, our customers love our designs which are beautiful, comfortable and lightweight. My thought on reusable sanitary pad has been that it is not comfortable and it is not also hygienic. Not until I encountered people. Oh my, people is awesome, comfortable, and at the same time, it's affordable. Yes, and it has beautiful colors that when you see it, you will want to buy it and you want to use it. People, it's great in the Since women are the most excluded from the workforce, with only 48% of women economically active, we employed two women in the production of sanitary pads, making them inclusive in the workforce and generate income for their families. Our workers are so proud that their work is helping to inspire young girls to take better decisions that positively impact their health and the planet. We adopted two channels of distribution the business to customers, where we sell our products directly to customers, and business to business, where we distribute to five retail stores. In just two months, we produce over 300 reusable sanitary pads, enabling us to generate 150,000 in revenue and prevented 20,000 kilograms of non-biodegradable waste. Growing up, period was a burden to me because I never really understood what period truly means. This is what over 500,000 girls are facing in Nigeria. As a result, we visited school, educating young girls about menstrual hygiene management, inspiring them to go zero waste by choosing our products. Through media engagement, we got the attention of the most beautiful girl in Ogo, who saw our project as a brilliant idea and a way to give back to the community. To aid distribution, she purchased in bulk from us and will be distributing to young girls free in communities. She also became our brand ambassador. Impactful and readily available. So I came across an artist that said and they introduced me to their project, which is paper. Because a lot of girls need this thing out there because they have to use clothes that causes diseases and illness to them. So this is a great global impactful project. God bless and I have to you for this great opportunity. <laughs> With supermarkets and stores closed down due to the unprecedented outbreak of COVID-19, which triggered sanitary pad crisis, making the product opportunistically inflated. This was our chance to storm the market since we offer lower price. We re-engineered our entire facility to combat the effect which COVID-19 has on periods. For the past month, we have tracked lessons from leading CEOs and discovered ideas that improved our business. First. Optimizing the best technology available, we designed an e-commerce platform where customers can order parts and get it delivered to them instantly. We also developed PayPal mobile app which makes managing period even easier and friendly. It possesses an artificial intelligence based system which helps ladies track and calculate their periods effectively. Currently, we have 83 users on the platform and they love the features it possesses. Monetizing the app, we employ a subscription based business model where users pay 100 naira monthly to access all of the services we provide. We partner with two logistic firms in Ijebuode, Oga Express and IG Deliveries, whereby their dispatch riders help to deliver our products at low cost. We employ two more women with a total of six employees to meet the demand for our products. Partnering with Wash United, we organize a virtual training on menstrual hygiene management and together we reach over 411 million people. With PayPal, we're changing the narrative of how sanitary parts have been produced, making them more affordable and eco-friendly. 
We produce over 3,000 packs of PayPal, bridging the need of ever producing 300,000 sanitary pads containing plastic. PayPal will help eradicate over 7 million kilograms of menstrual waste, reducing the ecological footprint of over 131 million kilograms of carbon emission generated from menstrual waste yearly. This year alone, we helped achieve 12 of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. In just four months, generated revenue of over 400,000 Naira and saved our environment of over 700,000 kilograms of non-biodegradable waste. And we're just getting started. Based on our projection by the next year, we would set up four new production hubs, two in other Nigeria, to expand our impact and generate more revenue by providing answered employment opportunities for over 30 individuals. Together, these five facilities would help generate over 2 million naira in revenue, producing 10,000 sanitary pads daily, and help 3,333 customers save 50 million naira yearly that could have been used on the purchase of non biodegradable sanitary pads. So far, we have produced 3,000 sanitary pads, employed six individuals, and trained 2,000 girls directly. Our team of 53 members volunteered 10,600 hours and created impact with our three social enterprises this year, PayPal, iPal, and Renove. We have proven resilience, leadership, and effective team spirit, using disruptive innovation to create a radically successful business this year. And after stars that have shown that we truly understand what capitalizing on the need means and with the power of creativity and innovation, we created a lasting impact.